We are living in a world where we have limited resources. If we live like we did it in the past, we will not survive. Especially in the oil industry, when you try to meet all the requirements from circular economy. It is so important really to keep molecules in a cycle. We call that circular economy. And that will help the global oil industry really to turn it from a very, very traditional way of using crude into a modern, most advanced way in order to use waste to produce exactly the same products. The question is also to develop technologies to prevent burning waste and producing CO2 everywhere. What we're doing here is, you know, we are collecting used oil from the European market and we are taking, you know, the used oil apart and rebuild them uh, to produce base oil. Base oil we are producing according to this process is bright and clear, it looks like water, it doesn't have any smell, no odor, no color. And if you compare our base oil with base oil deriving from crude, you know, you won't see any difference. And that's the uniqueness of this process we are doing here in Elstauer. We have developed technologies where we produce products of highest quality to meet especially all the needs of future applications. And that is where we prevent pollutions of 68% of CO2 emissions compared to all the other producers. We have developed this technology in the past together with our technology partner UOP. We want to roll out this technology, we want to invest on a global basis and we will do that. So we have opened our site in the US. We are now in the phase to invest into two refineries to use used motor oil collected in the US in order also to turn this used motor oil in the very high API Group 3 base oil quality. The U.S. market is the largest Group 3 base oil market in the world, as well as the largest full synthetic motor oil market in the world. Paraglobe is expanding into Tampa to bring our innovative technologies to become a market leader in Group 3 sustainable base oils, as well as sustainable finished lubricants. Also, what's behind all these ideas are that we avoid too much transportation. So what we collect here in Germany, that is transformed into base oils here in Germany in order to produce lubricants in Europe. What we do in the US that is collected in the US, that is turned into base oils in the US in order to get used on the American market. We develop a technology that is a patented technology, what we call high res We are turning heavy fuel oil and we produce NAFTA, where you can produce ethylene from, where you can produce plastics from in order to make all the plastic users sustainable. We can produce full sustainable diesel that fulfills the DIN specification here in Germany. That's the only application worldwide based on used motor oil. And we can also produce base oils and we put the base oil molecules back into the cycles. Today we have a full motorcycle product line, we call it Zero Up. You can choose between you know, 540 up to 20 W50 motorcycle oils. So we cover the full range of racing oil, touring oil, Harley Davidson oil and stuff like this. From a performance perspective, you know, there's no difference between using our base stock compared to virgin based base stocks. But at the end of the day, what you bring in is, you know, is a huge portion of sustainable base oil into your formulation. The climate change, you know, is based on, you know, the root cause is actually, you know, what happened in the past, you know, we were burning. So the whole oil industry is primarily responsible for what we see today. And what we are doing here is, you know, we are also producing lubricants, but, you know, the carbon footprint of our products, so the, the CO2 load is much, much less. So you're doing something which is good for the environment and the atmosphere. What I can say is that we are really happy that we are where we are right now. To come to this point, that was very hard work. As we have started here, that is more than 20 years ago, and we thought about the future and we have analyzed the future, we took the challenge in order to produce exactly what the future needs.